I'm back. Oh wait, the camera's up there. What's up everybody? I am back. This is your boy Tiny Sign. You already know. It's been a really long time. In fact, I actually don't even remember. When was the last video? Actually, I'm gonna look it up on my phone right now. Mm -hmm. Yo, so wow, I had, the last video uploaded was on January 22nd, 2017. So it's definitely been about it's been about a year and a half since I've last done a video. Yeah, so the real question is, why? Why you been gone so long, bro? Why? Why are you? Where have you been? Where have you been, Tiny Son? Where have you been? Well, a lot has happened in the past year and a half, but I'm gonna just try to sum it up real briefly for those who are interested. Uh, pretty much, uh, I was in school at Jackson State University. Uh, what really had me stop doing videos is workload was just so much, I couldn't do everything and I had to make sacrifices so the thing I had to sacrifice was doing YouTube unfortunately out of all the other things I had going on but uh, there's a lot that happened in that time so one of the biggest things that has happened for me is that I've actually been to Japan twice uh, the first time was in March of 2017 uh, I will do the Tomodachi program I'm a Tomodachi you know, hey scholar alumni now because uh, we had about 23 students from Japan from Sendai. They came to visit us in Jackson State, Mississippi, and then we went to go visit Japan. And you know, it was a nice little exchange for like nine day exchange for each of us. And it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. It really changed my life and made me realize how much I really do love Japanese culture and just you know Japan environment and things like that. I never thought I would actually, you know, I always wanted to go to Japan, but I, honestly, if this would have never happened, I probably wouldn't until I was like 27, 28. That's my prediction, but because it is, I think it was just right timing. Like the moment I came to Jackson State, uh, all of a sudden, Jackson State happens to be one of the four schools selected to be a part of the Tamadachi program. Uh, Tamadachi Inoue Scholars Program. So that's that's phenomenal, man. That's why life just throws opportunities at you, and I did everything I could to be a part of that. So that was amazing. And then I actually got to go back later that year in September uh, as a Tamadachi, you know, you know, a scholar alumni because they had a annual, uh, what's the word? What's the word? They have an annual summit. They have an annual summit that they do every year. And I don't know if it's always in Tokyo, but this one was in Tokyo, I believe. Yes. Um, but pretty much, uh, I feel that I like, I applied to be like a Tamadachi speaker, uh, go back to Japan. So I actually got to go back a second time. And, and, and each time it was all paid for. So. It's amazing. I'm so happy I got the experience, and I've made so many friends from Japan that I truly do miss and hope. I hope I can see y'all again. No, I will see you again, but I'm really hoping that it can be a lot sooner, uh, maybe for 2020. But I really want to, I don't know, I got to figure it out. You know, there's so many different options that I could take at this point, but I'm still developing it because there's still a lot of stuff I want to do in the United States. But I digress. That's the main thing that has happened since me not doing. And unfortunately, I didn't really blog or vlog or do that much, you know, but, I, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I did at the same time because I really got to just really immerse myself in it fully and just enjoy it. It was beautiful. Uh, shout out to Mr. Yoshi, who was our uh, program director guy and all that. It was beautiful. But um, I digress. So what else happened with me? So actually, I have now graduated Jack State University my bachelor's universities. I have now graduated Jackson University with my bachelor's. I finished school. Actually, I just finished less than like a month and a half. It's been like a month and a half since I've graduated and I've come back home to the Chicagoland area. So now I'm back home. I actually, I came back home. My first goal was I wanted to move out of the house, which I, which I did. I'm in my own apartment. Well, I, I, room, I have a roommate in close with the rent every month. Cool, cool. But it's just amazing, and I'm. This is my first month, you know, in my new apartment. So that's that. That's a pretty big step for me, because see, the one thing that that I feel hinders hinders people and hindered me as well is that 
you have to build like a proper foundation because you can have all these ideas you can have all these things you want to do in your life and you can work towards it right and build things up but if you don't build that initial proper foundation all that building you've been doing is going to collapse that's something that i've seen happen with me trying to do youtube something that's, that i've seen happen with me doing uh music and trying to release this album how this things over uh one is if you don't have the right foundation and it's too dependent on other people and if they don't deliver then everything comes crashing down you know what i'm saying i have a very strong work ethic but i realized that i probably wasn't going to be able to build that proper foundation until i come home and just move out the house school was just taking up too much of my time uh and you know school isn't for everybody for me it was worth it because i've you know more my experience with college is most of everything I did was outside of the classroom. So as long as you're spending 90% of your time outside the classroom, focusing on building yourself up, developing yourself as a person and trying to become the best you, I think it's worth it, man. I did so much stuff in talking time management, leadership. I mean, first off, even if I didn't do none of that, I went to Japan and that automatically makes every, all of it worth it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling, man, to be done with school and debt free because I had got a transfer scholarship. To that uh, it's a lot of opportunities out here. So yeah, but that's pretty much what has been happening for me the past year and a half since that last video. I did try to put out one video in that time frame, but the video was so horrible and it was so rushed. I took it down. I think only like 30 people saw it at the time. And honestly, one thing I have been surprised about, in fact, no, no. I'm, a, I'm surprised about a lot of things. Uh, first off, I didn't lose subscribers when I left. I think I had about like a little bit over a thousand, maybe like 1100, but I'm close to almost 1500 now. So I went up subscribers. So shout out to y'all, man, for not just saying, oh, you're not making videos. I'm subscribed. I'm glad you didn't do that. Because now I'm back, and it was quite a wait, but it was worth it. The other thing I noticed is, and I noticed it's probably like six months later, one of my videos hit like 60,000 fucking views, man. Hold on, hold on. It's the, uh, the Naruto quiz one, and I, I'm pretty sure I know why it blew up, but that was hilarious to me. Like, I'm getting baked in those comments. People are flaming my life because I claim, you know, to be the real life Naruto, but I can't, I couldn't even answer like half the fucking questions. But I got a busy life, man. I got, I had a busy life. It, it was, you know, no, I'm not gonna make excuses. I suck. But people, I think, you know, the tabs were what really had people going crazy. I'm so glad I did that because the, the comments are hilarious, man. So I love when you guys comment and everything. That. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, man. So I was surprised. My subscribers went up. That video hit 60,000 views, and that was so, oh, it was, it was so motivational. I'm like, yo, I need to get back to YouTube, man. But I'm like, you know, sometimes you just gotta take your time to build yourself up. And I'm the type of person where I don't, I don't like to waste time. You know what I'm saying? So I hate that I wasn't doing YouTube. I'm like, imagine where I could be right now if I would have been continuing to do videos. But you know, that's just how life works, man. Uh, you have to take time to build yourself up. But even though I wasn't working on YouTube, I was working on all my other things. And they're in a good place right now. YouTube, I know uh, I can come back to that and still do successful things. And I've come back better. I've learned a lot reflecting on waiting to come back to YouTube. Uh, I just finished building this set. Uh, my background, like two days ago, I had to get furniture. And find, I was looking around furniture because I was, trying, I was at work drawing out like how I wanted to look and everything. It turned out amazing. Over there. And uh, what else I was gonna say? You can tell that there's still a lot of room to add more stuff. So I hope to add more stuff over time. What else? I really hope to, um, you know, I want to get a PO box, and if you guys want to send me stuff that I can put in the background, uh, I think that would be amazing. So within a, maybe like within a month, I will put like a PO box together. And if you guys got like some anime stuff or anything. Hopefully not not too huge though that you wanna see up in here. Just send it my way, man. Uh so that's man, man. I don't wanna ramble on forever, man. But that's pretty much what's been happening with me, man. It's been a little bit of a struggle, you know. As soon as I got home, I moved out the house and everything. I'm working like a like a part-time job. It's decent. I didn't want something that'll take up most of my time because I wanted to dedicate most of my time to YouTube.
I'm trying to think. What else? What else? Uh, yeah, man. I, I think that's it. So, uh, what I will say is, um, I have some ideas for the videos that I'm putting that I will be putting out. In fact, if you see in this video, I should have put up a second video with this one of like some normal content. That way, you know, you can get to see all that coming. But I'm so happy to be back and be back into doing YouTube. I've missed it so much. You know what I'm saying? So much I could have. The one thing you know that hurts the most is I've you know I've been keeping up with all my manga. The only anime I watch right now is Boruto, but. Uh, there's so many epic moments that have happened in manga and anime, man, that I didn't get to cover with you guys because I wasn't doing YouTube. That's that's one thing that sucks so much uh, that I kind of hate, but it's okay. It's okay because now I got my foundation together and I can build up with you guys and we can really do something great on this YouTube platform. Um, so, and I've provided new ways where people want to support what I do. I have, like, at the end of my videos, I now have where people something or you want to merge things like that i got that all set up i've been plotting man i got it man because my goal is really to take off with this youtube stuff so yeah man i think i think that's it i probably said it like six times mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if there's anything that you would like to see me cover uh on my channel like any type of recent videos any animes anything like that make sure you comment it down below man let me know what you want me to cover i know a couple of videos i have in mind of course i want to talk about the recent episode of world so they've been amazing i want to get back to talking about kingdom because the only person i really see talk about kingdom is king of lightning and he's the one who put me on to it and i love kingdom he's my favorite manga right now i might start talking about my hero academia even though it's not really that much uh, I, well, not I don't watch the anime. I, I read the manga, but I need to watch the anime because I know they just have the one for all, all for one fight. Um, I'm excited to, to watch that. And man, it's just so much I want to do. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to keep rambling on forever, man, because the video is gonna be a little bit too long. But at least it's not gonna be hard to edit because I'm not gonna edit most of this stuff out. But yeah, man, I hope you guys like the set I got in the background, man. Uh, I'm glad for those who decided to not unsubscribe and rock with me. Thank you. If I have new people who are just now watching like one of my videos for the first time, uh, thank you. And uh, let's just move forward with it. But that's it, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that, man. Uh, new videos coming out weekly. I wanted to game it on the weekend. And yeah, that's it. This is your boy Tiny Man, and I'll talk to you later. My screen cut off. Hold on. Hold on. Can I see it? Yeah. Look at my raw ass phone case. Please tell me y'all rock with this, man. Evolution. You got to build the foundation and evolve. See, everything has a purpose. Okay, now I'm really gone. All right, bye. Hey, hey, let me be great. Let me be great. It's the hottest time. Move out the way. Move out the way. Too real. I can see through the